So welcome to reality, the world's most realistic virtual studio and augmented reality solution from Zero Density. 2017 had been a great success for Zero Density and, uh, and our partners and customers all around the globe. Together, we have managed to create unique experiences for our viewers all around the world and set the bar in virtual production a little bit higher. So I would like to start with presenting you a few highlights of what we have done uh, last year in 2017 with our customers and partners. And I would like to start with Riot Games. Uh, for the ones who doesn't know, Riot Games is, uh, is, a game, is a game development company who are the owners of the popular uh, game called League of Legends, right? And they had a dream of having one of their in-game characters, the Elder Dragon, uh, invade uh, the Beijing Olympic Stadium fly over the audience, land on the stage, mess around a little bit and then fly away. And so together with Riot Games, we managed to pull this off a huge, uh, tremendous uh, AR production. And uh, if you didn't see it already, I urge you guys to log into our Zero Density YouTube uh, page so that you can see what I'm really talking about. You have to see the actual footage. It was an amazing uh, project and it looked almost, almost real. Okay, so the next one is from uh, Netherlands. Our uh, graphics partner, so NEP Graphics, has built a beautiful, uh, a, virtual a beautifully studio. looking virtual uh, design, virtual set for Eurosport uh, for the Dutch audience so that they could uh, every day uh, bring fresh information from the Pyeongchang uh, Winter Olympics. And uh, they did this all uh, uh, during the whole event uh, for, for the Winter Olympics, and it was a very very uh, nice looking set. So again, available on our YouTube site. Please don't uh, forget to check it out as well. And the, sh and the third one is uh, from Canada, Toronto. Uh, our longtime user, customer, partner, Group Media TFO, which is a non-profit organization that creates, delivers, airs, kids content for a very, very long time. After switching to reality two and a half years ago, they have doubled their production capacity and the results were amazing. It was so good. We have been awarded with uh, IBC Innovation Awards for content creation in 2017 in Amsterdam. And we also uh, were selected uh, as uh, with the judges prize for the same uh, award. So we're very happy what we have done uh, last year. We, we will uh, keep doing this uh, this year as well. So let's get rid of the highlights. And I would like to show you one more uh, augmented graphics, which is our Twitter integration. You can send uh, a Twitter mention to Zero Density account and we will be able to display it to you like we do it now. So some friend just sent uh, one mention to the Zero Density site, so we're displaying it in real time. Again, uh, sending data into uh, reality for, uh, I don't know, uh, for which use, for uh, social media integration like this, database connections for elections, this are all possible through our API, our own control applications. So get rid of, uh, let's get rid of this social media uh, graphics. And uh, I want to start talking about our components. So the traditional approach in virtual production is a layer-based approach. So where you have the graphics uh, in the back, the middle, uh, the talent, and more graphics in the front. But our approach is totally different. We, we, we rely on the uh, visual effects pipeline. So everything is internally composited. So the main uh, component that we are using is, uh, is, is our renderer, which is uh, a, a AAA gaming engine called Unreal Engine. We're based on it. And we would like to show you some, uh, some details of this uh, renderer. So let's switch to the storage room so that you can see the rendering quality of uh, the Unreal Engine. And so my Philip, my friend, will just, yes, so let me get out. Exactly. So you can see the, hi the, the high quality textures, uh, the lighting, rendering. Anyway, so um, let's just zoom out and uh, now can we switch to the Fox set so I can speak, uh, start talking about the next component that we have. All right, our next important component is our gear. 
Reality has a built-in keyer called Reality Keyer, which is a software-based GPU-accelerated keyer uh, with high performance, high quality that runs in 3D space. So I'm going to concentrate on the high quality and high performance sections of it right now. Philip, my friend, will just zoom into my uh, foot a little bit so that now you can see that I'm casting real shadows in this green environment because of these many, many lights. So, so if you look close enough, we can blend these soft shadows nicely into the virtual floor so that we can use them as contact shadows that makes me really look like I'm walking on the floor. Otherwise, I would be seen like floating around. But with those contact shadows, your talent really looks like as a part of our uh, rendering. All right, and that uh, that is one of the differences that reality has. Our rendering pipeline is not layer based; it's a visual effects pipeline where everything is composited in 3D space. So, uh, also, I would like to show you some quality for our keyer hair detail. So, Philip uh, Lucas zooms and changes the focus. So, when he has the best focus, you can see every single strand of my hair. So, this is our uh, keyer's quality. And take good notice also, when he changes the focus, you can see that the background graphic also adapts uh, with the depth of field effect. Again, a very, very uh, important feature of reality which works naturally through the whole system. And if you want to challenge our keyer, we would always work with transparent objects like this water bottle that I'm holding in my hand. Transparent objects Again, with Reality Keyer, not a problem. So we believe Reality Keyer is the best performing keyer on the market today, even with these features. But I will add one more feature to it a few minutes later. Okay, just please bear with me. And in order to do that, I have to walk through this immersive virtual environment into the physical environment seamlessly. So as you can see, I have translated myself from the full immersive environment into the physical area in order to show you a few uh, new features that reality has. You probably already noticed that I have a Formula One car behind the video wall. And I say behind, not in video wall, because I can prove it to you. There is actually a car behind the video wall. So Luca, from a different angle now, can show you that the behind of the wall really exists and there is a car. Right? And we can even get the car halfway out to the screen. So take good notice. The half of the car is still in this video wall, which is actually a portal. You can still see it with the, all the angles and everything in this video wall. Right? And it's not just the car that is getting out of the system. And you, you should check the car's shadows and reflections as well. I have a better example for uh, shadows and reflections of an object in the physical area. Let's get rid of the car. And let's bring in our player, soccer player, with slow motion. So you can see, while he's getting out of the window, there are some shadows that is, you know, because of those lights. We match our virtual lights with the physical lights. So you will have all your uh, visual effects to complement a full uh, compositing. All right? So this is uh, the, the, the best level of realism that you could get from an AR solution on the market today. Unique in everywhere unique in every way all right okay so let's get this uh player out please so that he doesn't tackle me so that i can tell you two more things about our system i told you that our keyer was 3d aware right so uh, you already show how um high, how high performance and high quality it is but i want to show you one more thing so as you can see luca is showing you the desk now and it's keyed right the key is active it's uh running so you would expect that this one would be keyed when I'm in front of the camera. But obviously it doesn't, because our keyer knows about our physical space and placement in this area, and we color code them and send it as a mask, a 3D mask to our uh, keyer, so that it knows that it shouldn't key this area and key this area. There is one more thing that our keyer does. If you look close enough, from that shot, you will see that some, there is some green here because of that wall behind me, right? In the real physical area. But you don't see it on, on the composite because our keyer also know where, which places to get the green out. Not key it, but get the green out and replace with a different color. A very, very uh, unique feature of reality. And finally, 
I will bring in one another augmented object slightly more has a more uh, reflective surface on it so that we can show you what we can do with augmented objects for your production so let's bring in the piano so that you can see that myself and the environment reflecting nicely and realistically over a 3D object. Again, this is not a special 3D object, it's just the one with a reflective material on it. So in a nutshell, reality is the ultimate tool for all your virtual production needs, full green screen, blue screen applications, hybrid ones like the one that we're displaying you today, or augmented and set extensions only. So reality will make your dream come true. This was reality. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.